Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, your host, Lucky Marine. And if you note the temperature of these, please game, don't do this to me, not now. Not now. If you note the if you note the temperature If you note the temperatures? Temperature. Okay, here we go. If you know the temperature of Ooh, a little blob of blue came out there. Uh, if you know the temperature of this thermal regulator. 226 degrees Celsius. That's quite good. We're getting more. We're getting a, a blob of blue out here now. That's good. And out here, this is nice. This is nice. I don't think. I wonder if you can freeze your dupes. I wonder if you can put them in a room and just. I, don't, well, I doubt you could, but that'd be cool. Cryogenically freeze your dupes when you don't have enough plants to feed everyone and then bring them back when you've sorted your uh, your food crisis out all right anyway uh, i think we're going to put one of these thermal regulators actually in this room and then run the steam through it before it exits so just one two yeah we could get two in here well we'll We'll try one for now, so we'll squeeze it right up close to to this. Can you fit on top of there? I don't. I don't think you can. Oh, you can. You can fit on top of batteries. All right, we'll do that. We'll get rid of some of these ladders. Please do not get stuck on these ladders, Mildred. You know, you know what we're talking about. I'll just stick a couple in there. Maybe. Hopefully. Why? We'll see. Ah, huh. no, thank you. And we'll turn this generator on. It's going to produce carbon dioxide, that's fair enough, but we should be alright. Apparently carbon, a uh, decent amount of carbon dioxide in your steam room is alright. Oh, sorry guys, this one as well. So has that, has that activated this one? I'll see when the next hydrogen gets there. No. All right. Um, deconstruct gas pipes. Just there. And just there. And thermal regulations. There they Mildred, anyone? Suki? No, Ming Mai. That's better. So these are off and there's no hydrogen going to them and yet they're still hot. Same here. And now I've activated the one in the middle. Alright. I'll prioritize these are nine. We'd like them to get done. I think we're going to need more of an effective airlock into here. Although. I don't know once it's go fit another one. <clears throat> once it's done and sealed off and we've finished tinkering with it, there's not gonna be many people getting in here. Oh 
Oh, don't make mine. Working hard there. Yeah, we'll power them up. And plumbing. Every time you wire the wires up, it sounds like the beginning of Pink Panther. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's just me. All right, so into and then out of the white into the green, out of the white, and then back in. But we're not going to be able to deconstruct that, I don't think. But we'll give it a go. If we need to put a bit of a ladder in between, then we do. I'll prioritize this as a nine. Uh, yeah, as a nine. Let's get it done. Why are we still making obsidian pipes? Yeah, I, I don't blame you if I wanted to catch your breath. It has to be pretty horrific in there. Uh, I've seen worse places to be. And now... Deconstruct gas pipes. Break the link there. Can you get to him? You can. Alright. Going with copper in her hand. There we go. Little lump of copper on her back, ready to sort out our connections. Yeah, it's fairly horrific in there, but you can see the steam building up. Can you not get to these? Of course you can. What's going on? What's, on, what's wrong with this, guys? Sleep time. Oh, uh, fair enough. How are you in terms of temperatures? That's a lot better. How are you in terms of oxygen? That could be better. Let's disable you when we can. How are we in terms of our flow? Uh, it's fine. Breathable gas, yeah. Not too hot, not too cold. I don't know if cold's a thing. I don't know if plants get affected. Well, plants do get affected by cold, but I don't know if it's implemented into the game. I did think whilst I was on the toilet earlier on, because that's what, what else are you meant to do when you're on the toilet, apart from play with your phone. If you put your plants in their own little room and pumped just enough oxygen in, for them to be oxygenated to a, a certain pressure, uh, but then had an airlock so that pressure couldn't escape. They don't produce carbon dioxide or any of the gases. So the only time carbon dioxide would get in there with them is when your dudes went in to harvest. So you could create almost a greenhouse, so a, a very insulated environment for your plants to grow so they wouldn't be at the, the whim of the fluctuations in in oxygen pressure of your main base. Hmm. We might try that. We might try that in a bit actually. See if it works. Everyone running? Yep, everyone's running. Can you not reach these? Construction pending. 
deconstruction pending. All right. You have to sort out the deconstruction. Yeah, deconstruction. Nope. Fine. Can you actually get there? I don't think you can. You should be able to. Oh yeah, of course we made these out of gold, didn't we? All right, yep. Prioritize these back down to a five now. What's wrong with you now? Oh, make your mind up. Chilled. Well, we thought we'd have to do it, so let's deconstruct that thermal regulator. To be honest, <laughs> to, to be honest, five degrees, six degrees, that is far too cold. Um, we only wanted it down to sort of the twenties. Down well, we wanted it into the twenties, down from the the thirties that it climbed into, but hmm, five point seven degrees. Yeah, that's a bit a bit too chilly. All right, I'll let just plumb you in there. I'll deconstruct that bit of gas pipe. We've not done this yet. Although it is, it is going through there. Well, some of it is. Every now and then. Steam at ninety degrees. Steam at ninety-one. Steam at one hundred nineteen. So some of that's going to get in here and immediately condense. You'd hope. Steam at 120. Is there a way of running this steam along with this oxygen through this thermoregulator and then splitting it here? The, the probably is actually. But we'll keep it simple for now. game and I don't think they can get to to this to de deconstruct it so let, let's not build it out of obsidian so we're gonna have to put the ladder walkway in again So you can see, it gets to here, it drips on here, and then it overhang, overflows. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can catch it in here. Atmospheric pressure too low. <laughs> well, some of you grown. That's all we need. The temperature's coming up a little bit. Winter nines. If we can hover it around <clears throat> 18, 18 to 20. 
That'd be nice. Cancel you. And plant you. Cancel you and plant. I think the mealwood are just the better plant, to be honest. Cancel you, and I will plant you. That's yeah, I know, I know. It, they do seem to grow a little bit quicker. Stifled. God, make your mind up. Come on. Alright, let's deconstruct the buildings there and there. And we'll replace it with tile. I think water is alright going sideways through it, but it just won't. Yeah, water, water will, it looks like water will flow sideways through it, but it won't flow, like, through it directly down. I don't know, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's put some tiles on the end and see. Hundred twenty four degrees Celsius, that's just right. I mean any hotter and you're just gonna end up having to cool it down from a million degrees and that's not what you want. You want it to be just hot enough to create steam and then you wanna be able to transport that steam away and not have to spend too long in converting it back into fluids. Right, can you now get to here? No? Yeah, it is a bit steamy up there. There we go. Well, it's... yeah. All adds to the heat, I suppose. What else do you need to do? Right, let's just cancel that disc... that... yeah. So hopefully there won't need to be in here anymore. <laughs> Flying through the air. Like it. Caught a mid-jump. It's, it's the little hoppy jump things that are, make me laugh. Alright. And we'll see if we kind of trap fluid here. If we do, then it's good, I suppose. The... No, thank you. It's good. It means that you can. Well, yeah. It means you can build this a little bit taller. Have your heat maybe up a level, up a few levels. And then just have gas permeable tile. Well, you can have it anywhere, really. Uh, have your gas permeable tile shelf as it were no have a heat at the bottom have your gas permeable at the top and it'd just be its own little reservoir the steam would come up through it but then condense I won't be able to go back down but then how do you stop it once it's sat there? 
How do you stop it raising in temperature again? If it's already in here. Hmm. Unless you had steam room, sort of just a area where it could collect and then transfer naturally. And as it's transferred naturally, you've got your gas permeable tile there with a catch tank underneath it with your pump. In there. So as it's created, as the steam's created, it'll just it'll fill this chamber, and then as it collects on this floor, it drips through. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I have to try it on another on another run somewhere. But yeah, you can see the guy, the uh, steam generation. Why are we suddenly not making? Why are you not pumping it? What is this? Oh, there we go. Every now and then, 121 degrees Celsius. 107. All right. So we've already cooled it down to a point where it can plop out here and it only has to cool another 8 as opposed to 140 that's coming out of this direction. That's right. What temperature? This is a lot better. This, this kind of minty green stuff. This is what we're aiming for. A nice balmy 16, 17 degrees. If you want to get really warm, you throw yourself against this little insulated tile that's somehow still at 41 degrees Celsius. Or hug this little vent. Or hug this little valve at 30 degrees. But no, that's, that's good. Liquid's still a little bit warm, but overall, it's done alright there. Or in terms of oxygen. Barely breathable, yeah, that's fine. Let's turn you on, because we're having issues down here now. It's good that we move the wheels over to this corner. They do produce a lot of carbon dioxide when they're on them little mass wheel things. It's better than having it here and collecting in this corner and not being able to get rid of it. Ever since the water level rose and our pumps became totally inefficient. I'll harvest whenever you can. Does this work? I think it does. I think I think this works. We're pumping out a mixture of no, it's pretty much all fresh water coming out of there now. We do have it fed into our filter, uh, just in case we end up with a rogue. Contaminated water, because there is contaminated water in here. But now, at the moment, poopy water goes in, fresh water comes out. And what is this? What is this? How have we created carbon dioxide? How have we created carbon dioxide in the... I'll be curious to see where this goes. How is this a thing? 
Alright, so what do you do when you hit the filter? The filter's only programmed for poo poo water. What is this? What colour do you come out? Blue. Just like the other blue. Yep. Still came out blue. So I don't know what that was. Some sort of a not I don't know if it was coloured differently or whether it was different or I don't know. We're all inclusive here in this happy colony. Except for this. This is just dog shit. No. I don't want to have a look at I don't even want to see you. Ever. I'd, we might just wall you off. Never go there ever again. Alright, so I've been looking marine as always. Actually no, let's let's wait until the, the night time comes. And we'll say the proper good nights. Oh this is this seems to be working. I like I like the setup. What are you doing? Mildred, are you broken? Do you really have nothing else to do? Maybe not. Alright, well <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was us for this episode. So from Suki, Floyd, Mildred, Ming Mai, and Lenny, that's good night. It's a goodbye from me. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Do take care.